What's up everybody, this is Bruce aka Geektacular and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of uh, the new release for the classic horror film Black Christmas. Uh, this is actually the Seasons Grievings edition um, and it just came out in November 2015 uh, on Blu-ray and I think there's a DVD version as well. Um, and this actually only came out in Canada so far. So, I'm not sure. It was put out by Anchor Bay. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to come out in the United States eventually or not. Um, since I believe Black Christmas is a Canadian film. Um, it is already available on Blu-ray. Um, and from what I can tell, from what I know about it, this one has the same transfer as the previous Blu-ray release. So, you're not going to be getting, like, a newly... Um, a newly revised uh, film transfer. So the, the movie itself should be the same as the previous releases. But this one actually has, um, I think it's got a booklet in it as well as um, some new artwork and some new special features, which is sort of like the main um, reason to get this. And I really like this movie. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, it's from the 70s. It came out before uh, Halloween. And I would consider this to kind of be like the proto-Halloween. Um, so if you like John Carpenter's Halloween, this is kind of like the precursor to that. Um, it's really good. Uh, it's really tense. And there's actually stories um, that you see during some of the Q&As about the director of this movie um, doing projects with John Carpenter and kind of giving, not giving him the plot of Halloween, but sort of swapping ideas, uh, which included uh, a lot of the stuff that ended up being in Halloween. So there is actually sort of a relationship between John Carpenter um, and the guy who directed this. So there are some direct ties, but even just in the way sort of that it feels and that it um, builds attention and things like that, there's a lot of similarities. And it has some cool twists and stuff. So this is just a really cool, classic sort of um, foundation horror movie here. Uh, especially of the slasher genre. So I'm going to show you the slip cover here. So this is all new artwork and it's actually by the art director from Rue Morgue magazine. Um, so as you can see um, when I run the light over it, the Black Christmas and the Seasons Greetings, or sorry, Seasons Grievings, I can't even say it right, um, those are actually sort of like foil, they're like silver foil. Um, and the rest of it is kind of matte. So this, the whole black background is matte, and then it has these little foil blood, red blood droplets. And basically all of the artwork, so like the phone, the broken ornaments, the blood, uh, the logo, all that stuff, is all sort of like shiny foil. So you can kind of see the difference there when I run the light over it. Um, so let me show you the cover. And again, the back of it is just um, matte black. So, really cool new artwork. So, on the spine, um, this eyeball is also foil. So, you can kind of see it there. Um, it sort of is slightly metallic-y, as is the logo. And the, the blood splatter kind of wraps around. And there's the Anchor Bay logo and code there. So, you see the art kind of wraps around to that side, and it also wraps around to the other side. So you have the same eyeball there, um, and the blood sort of um, wraps around there as well. So um, nothing on the top and bottom. Here is the back. Um, so that's just a quick description, some shots from the film. Uh, so this is all the new stuff. Um, so you get Billy is Watching, which is a new commentary with Nick Mancuso playing uh, Billy from the movie. Um, which, I, I, don't, I don't really want to give you too much information about the film because I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't really say. But if you've seen the film, you know that that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, it's got a new documentary, The Black Christmas Legacy. Um, it has a 40th anniversary panel uh, at Fan Expo 2014, which is a Canadian um, like Comic-Con sort of thing, I think. 
and a 16-page Rue Morgue mini magazine. Um, then some more Black Christmas promotional materials, and the original script with handwritten notes. Um, if you put this in a, um, in a computer, you can bring those up and see the actual original script with like notes in it, so that's pretty awesome. And then you still get all of the exact same special features as the previous Blu-ray release as well. So you get all of the other ex already existing documentaries, interviews, deleted scenes, commentaries, all that stuff. So this is everything that the um, older Blu-ray release is, plus just extra stuff. So if you really like this movie like I do, um, this is an awesome release. It's Region A Blu-ray, so that means you can play it in the U.S., uh, Canada, uh, some other places as well. Um, so yeah, that's just the outer slipcover. So let's pull this out here. Oh, so this is kind of interesting. The slipcover and the artwork on the case are actually different. This happens much more rarely than you would think. Usually the slipcover looks exactly like the disc art, but this is actually different. So that is awesome. Again, this is the artwork by the uh, art director of Rue Morgue. Before Halloween, before My Bloody Valentine, before Friday the 13th, there was Black Christmas. And that's a pretty accurate uh, tagline there. So really cool new artwork for that. Um, Sort of has similar art, but uh, arranged differently and has some additional stuff on the actual case. So the spine, again, very similar in that it has just the basic logo, the eyeball, um, and then the stuff on the bottom. So it looks a little bit different. The back is fairly identical other than this white strip at the bottom. So the white strip that goes all the way around the art uh, just isn't on the slipcover. But it looks like all of the other information on the back um, is identical between the two. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and open this up. Take a look at that uh, <clears throat> mini magazine that's in there. So that sounds pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this open here. Um, so like I said, if you're in the U.S., you will have to import this from Canada. Um, but you can get it on Amazon Canada. And you can, that's a real easy way to import it. It costs, um, if I recall, like $8 to ship it um, to the U.S. If you order some other stuff with it, um, the price per item goes down a little bit. Um, but I think I ended up paying like eight dollars or so, which um, is a lot, but not really that much. Not that far beyond, you know, standard non-free sh uh, shipping prices. So I was happy to pay that um, to get it shipped down here, knowing that you can't get it any other way down here in the United States. So, again, there's the artwork. Open it up here. Boom. So there's no artwork on the back side uh, of the cover art, so that's okay. Um, here is the disc art. It's like matte printed there. So again, really cool new artwork for the Seasons Grievings edition. That's funny, it's made in the USA, but it's only for sale in Canada. Mm. And again, it's this, um, it's an Elite Eco case. Um, all right, and here, here is the Rue Morgue uh, mini magazine. So, at Home with Billy, The Case for Black Christmas, The Road to Black Christmas, a interview with the director. So that's like a multi-page one. It's got some art, some uh, screenshots, memories of Black Christmas. So these are like little tidbits from different people. They're kind of uh, peppered throughout. So the interview with the director is really long. 
Um, and then some of these like actor and crew memories sort of sprinkled in there. So yeah, so the most of it appears to be that uh, interview um, <clears throat> with the director. Then there's also um, this from the editor of Remark Magazine. So, and then the back of this just lays out all the special features. All the bonus features that you have on the discs. So if you want to just um, refer to this while it's in there, you can put it like this. You can just flip it over. And that way when you open it, you can get a quick um, view of the bonus features and stuff. So yeah, that is Black Christmas, the season's grievings edition. Um, right now, as of release, exclusively only available in Canada. But hopefully um, they will license it and bring it out in the States maybe before too long. But if you really want it, uh, you can grab it on Amazon Canada or something like that for um, a reasonable price. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching this, guys. If you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. And if you like these kinds of unboxings, if you like Blu-ray unboxings, um, just movie unboxings in general, if you like video game stuff, anime stuff, any of that kind of thing, go ahead and click subscribe down below, and that way you'll get notified whenever I come out with any new videos. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you next time.